Hey you guys, it's Ben from Idiots Play Games. Today, giving you Demigra. Um, it's a deck that we've been testing for a while. This is actually one of my friend's decks, Alex Freer. Um, I verse him a lot, but um, this is pretty much the exact same build that I'd be playing exactly to the point. Uh, so yeah, Demigra. Uh, this side, when you swing a leader, I think it's if you swing a leader. If you swing a leader, mill the top three. If all three are black, draw a card. Kinda like, it uh, doesn't really matter. Um, and then this side is you untap two of your energy. But the real reason why you're playing is because of this side. Wormhole, so you can warp twice per turn um, and pretty much activate main, choose three cards, black cards from your warp and place them in your drop area. That timing with this is actually really important. So go into the deck profile. We play the only combo we can actually play, the 10k combos, uh, Supreme Kai. Play four poutine uh, uh, in Demigra's throw. When you play this, mill the top two of your deck, um, and it's also one uh, a one drop blocker, which is kind of really good for the meta right now. This deck is mainly only good for when the meta kind of slows down a little bit, but right now, like it's okay to fun, like play around and all that. Um, Alex with this deck has been topping a few events, but um, hasn't won any. Uh, play four time control for Noah because yellow is a thing, kinda. Um, and mainly it's because you only one drop draw. These are the only one drops you're really playing. We play four times choice Supreme Kai of Time. Um, so this is pretty much trunks, but you look at the top three and add a battle card. And then you've got your time patrol trunks, which looks at the top two and adds any card. You don't show your opponent. We play two gravy. Now gravy, he's a sticky one. Um, you're mainly playing him just to like mill everything out. Uh, no, not mill anything, add two from your warp back to your drop. That's the only reason why you play him. And of course we play the SCR because it's amazing. Which you can add back off the trunks. Play four negates because it's the only negate you can play with this leader. And we're also playing Dark Plot. Dark Plot is a kind of like a, an iffy card right now. Um, the only things were like it's a one mana bring back pretty much anything. Like mainly you want to bring back your, uh, your trunks because you gain double strike. And with that trunks, you play two, uh, three trunks. Um, we've decided to play the Awakening a a Bardock package with two of the um, Bardock Power of Unleashed. Maybe we should bump this up to three, just so we can actually see it and not mill it out. But at the end of the day, we can always add it back with our trunks. And then playing two increased evil mass saiyan. So this is mainly your awakening package. So this is when you uh, play this card. Uh, when you play this card, if your leader card is black, you may uh, choose up to two cards in your life, add it to your hand. Um, and then you can choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and send it to the wall. While everyone knows what this one is, this is the, um, the old uh, 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 promo and play two Scientist Foo. Scientist Foo comes in clutch a lot, and then we play three Dimension Banisher Foo. So same thing, main reason why you're playing is because it's a 5k combo. That's it for the deck profile. Um, so testing the deck, it is a little bit clunky, a little bit slow. I know Herudagon's kind of like take control of the format, but once the format slows down a little bit, this deck should be really good. That's it for the video, guys. I'll see you in the next one. I haven't taken the photo yet. I could just get you this. <laughs> I don't want to edit things. <laughs>